Yo, what's going on YouTube? BGRAM44 back here again today with another banger. Today I'm covering the FARA 83 in Warzone Season 6. Now look, when it comes to the FARA, it's one of those guns that doesn't necessarily hit entirely hard. Like it does, it's not just a, it's not like the AK or the EM2. The thing that makes it shine is the bullet velocity and the lack of recoil. I mean, this thing's a laser beam. So if you're one of those people who use the EM2 or the AK and you're not getting all your shots, you're missing too many, you think recoil's too much, Faro's your gun. This thing's a laser beam, you torch foreheads with it and that's what makes you win these gunfights. Try it out for yourself, let me know if it's your match made happen, all right? If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Crush that like button only if you enjoy it though. I don't want any cap likes, I only want likes if you enjoy the content. Hit me in the comments down below, let me know what you think. Let me know what guns you're rocking with season six. Game's almost balanced right now. There's a lot of guns that are very balanced. There's some guns that are very chalk. Let me know what guns you want to see buffed, what guns you think might need to be nerfed. Let's get right into a game. All right, gang. Regardless if I'm playing solos, solo quads like right now, wherever, I typically like to land right here on the roof because usually you can get a gun spawn like right here. If you get to the ground fast enough, you can torch some nerds out of the air like Chris kept playing that at me. Already got him done. Got one behind. We're going to go and grab this air ammo, reload. Got another one on the roof to our right we saw. I'm gonna go and torch this kid. We're gonna check ladder just in case. Ooh. Definitely got kids under. Oh, we're sitting nice. We're gonna let them fight. I'm just gonna try to play roof. Alright, that kid looks like he has an MG82 or DMR. He's on roof though, he just jumped. So maybe we can shoot down on him. The best case scenario, yeah, they're fighting right here. 100%. Oh, we didn't get thirst on that. That's so fake. Alright, there it is. There it is. There's definitely kids down here. Let's just challenge from the P5. I'm not sure how many it is. Maybe three? Just kind of running their laps. Definitely got kids under. Kid to my right. He's gonna push up. Sounds like he has some heartbeats. Playing so hesitant. It's two. Got one thirst. Definitely kids a little left. Maybe on the heady now. Yeah, they're definitely just posted up in the room down the left. So I'm gonna see how they make their move. We're already doing pretty solid. We got one squad wipe. Looks like he's getting in the car, he's gonna dip. He's gonna peace. I'm just saying, we don't have shit for money though. He went out to buy. He bought three, it looks like. Two or three. Popped in the car and did. Maybe he'll pull back around the front store and get out. He did pull up the front store, is he gonna get out? His boys are all landing. Yui's up. I'm just trying to figure out what this kid's motive is. Okay, we got a C4. Let's see if we can't just intercept the car. If he's just gonna drive around super like this. He's honking the horn, he's so... Kids are obviously getting in. We can make a C4 play here. Got two. There's the one. There's the two. Not sure where the other homies are that came back in. Wish we had a heartbeat. Alright, we're going for the loot. Of course, they're not going to have much money because he just bought all the homies back. Oh, let's go to factory or something. We got to find some money.
Looking good though. 108 up. We got six on the board. Enemy UAV overhead. I think your biggest key when it comes to solo squads in this situation is just it's all comes down to your movement and your shots. So you don't have a lot of margin for missed shots. Like you have to hit your shots. You got to make them count. If you are going to shoot, you got to make sure you're going to put the kid down. Because if you don't, then they know where you are. You don't have anyone down. You have no leverage. So you definitely got to work that. And then, of course, your movement just has to be on point. Every You can't make mistakes. Like, everything has to be locked in. We could honestly take this red door. I don't have any intel around here. I don't have money. We're going to take the red door. It's risky, though, because a lot of rats just like to camp these things. So going through here, we might get torched. We might not. Who knows? Hopefully it works out for us. Alright, we're in. First thing I like to do is pop the advance. It just kind of covers your bases. Alright, we didn't get much money out of that. At a buff out. Uh, but we will take this right here. Let's try to mark where our teams are. We got a team there. It's only a team of three. Honestly, we could probably take that. Or we got maybe what looks like two teams of two over here. Nah, that's a full team. So they're just kind of chilling. This team over here on orange to over at hotel. They're going to get definitely going to get loady before I can get there. So we're just going to loot up around here, honestly. Yeah, that's a move. We're going to loot up to what we can do. Where's that heli at? That heli's over there at cop on the hill. Looks like people have already kind of ran through this area. We got like 5k, we don't really have anything for money. Have low down about a minute and a half, so. See if I can't pull up to hangers or something. I really want to buy a UAV and just use the ground loot guns I have, but especially in a game mode like this, solo quads. And we're threat two right now, so I must have just drove into them. Word. Alright, let's see what we got going here. Threat three, so yeah, yeah, there they are. He sees me for sure. We're gonna drop out the back here. And we're just gonna have to play our picks. Try to back up some. Those hangers have too many entrances. There's one. He might have seen me. Yeah. Oh, we got the pick all day. Reload, come on. We can't we can't let that thirst get away from us. We're gonna play it up. See what we can do. All right, we got our thirst. We're gonna keep backing off. Cause that is bounty team, so they know where I'm at. I don't really know where all of those guys are at. So we just gotta play this a little more cautiously. We just gotta kind of pay attention to what we're doing. Now that UAV could have been theirs. You know, that's something we gotta pay attention to. Also, we gotta look at where all of our buys are at. Let's see. Okay, there's a kid right there, 100%. Maybe we can get the wall jump on him. It worked, there we go. All right, we got another dead thirsted, so it's two down from that team. I'm still threat three. It's our loadout. Can't really focus our loadout quite yet. Okay, one just dropped in. We saw his parachute, that's a good thing. We got a daddy popped. Dead thirsted again on that kid. He must come back from Goosh. Enemy UAV now we're just going to kind of rotate a little bit here. Drop down into the hangers. And that's a squad wipe. Bounty averted. Let's go, gang. 77 left. We got 10 kills. We're sitting pretty right now. Finally got money to buy our own UAV, which or buy our own Lodi. Actually, not quite. We only got 9,400. No shot, man. All right, we're gonna migrate to the main Lodi, but we got to be able to buy some at cop here. I gotta find just a little more cheddar. A UAV would be so nice, but we gotta get ghost here. It's gonna be risky. Our cross right here. There's UAVs up everywhere. There's no telling what the vibe is. I honestly can't remember a match I played where I heard this many UAVs called. Oh, they're fighting like right here too. 
So let's see what we can do. We're actually let's see if we can make this play. We're gonna call precision right there. All right, we got our loadout. Let's go for ghost. Hopefully we don't get torch grabbing ghost. Bang. And we got ghost. Our throwing knives. Oh, on. He's down. Got thirst. I'm gonna lay down plate up. Check heartbeat. Nothing on beat. Doesn't mean they're not here. We're gonna back off to cop. Alright, we are in cop now. This gives us a little bit of high ground to work with. But there's no telling where this team's gonna be coming from. I mean, that kid just could have been a scraggler. Got one dropping in. If he didn't land here, he's probably landing ground war. He could have landed out to the left. We got some crates in here. Maybe we can get enough for a UE. It's only in the cubbies. Dead Thurston. Got a kid pushing in on us. He doesn't have ghost. Whatever he has has a flashlight on it. Trying to creep around this corner. The nade got me. Ooh, back in the room. Reload. Oh no, they all pushed in, man. We still got Goose though, that's 12. We couldn't get thirst on that one kid. That nade was unfortunate, took our plates. If not, we could've ego child the second. Probably had the pick there, he was already cracked. We still got 55, 56 out, we got 12. We should be chilling. Another really hard thing about playing solo quads that you gotta think about, oh, and a fire sale comes up, of course, is uh, when you get your loadout, you know, you don't have your teammates with you, so that thing's gone. It's not like you can just land back on it, which is tough. All right, got the Gouge win. Where are we going? Honestly, we could take it right back to cop. It looks like there's kids fighting from top super, maybe shooting down at. We're gonna see. Oh, they just got a loadout outside of fucking cop. I don't. This is a horrible situation. It looks like we got a kid in fire tower, a kid super. This whole area is so shocked. There has to be a way we can sneak guns or something. I mean, we have our ghost class right here on the hill. The chances of us grabbing that class and surviving are slim to none, but I say we go for it. Why not? I'm gonna land over here with these hangers. Try to pick up any until I can. I got kids sniping at me, so yeah. All right, we're going in with the hangers now. All right, we're in. Oh, we got a grab? No. And that's not cool. UAV up, it's probably theirs. We're going for our ghost loadout right here. Whether we can sneak in or not, I have no clue. One just jumped off the top of cop. Looks like he's pushing out. All right, we're gonna run these kids guns. That kid should have been knocked, but he's not. Oh no, there was one scraggler behind. We had him a bullet, almost turned on him. He got us. Not bad though, we could have had that. We could have had that. All right gang, on this farm, I'm running the Gru Suppressor, the Spetnaz RPK barrel, Spetnaz speed grip, 60 round mag, and the Axial Arms three times optic. Try it out for yourself. It doesn't have the fastest TTK, but the accuracy makes up for that. It's so laser accurate, has great bullet velocity. It's very, very viable right now. I highly recommend it, especially if you think the EM2 or the AK have way too much recoil for you. This might be your match made in heaven. Try it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you're new to the channel, you enjoy the content, hit that sub button, crush that like button, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another banger. Let's get it.